But uh, is he also aware that a foreign uh, media organization uh, in some uh, kind of uh, uh, thing that got so a lot of Nigerians talking about what looked like a mockery, that in, uh, a, a leader of a, of a state of a country like Nigeria that has been away for over two months, is he worried about such comments coming uh, from international uh, bodies? No, we didn't discuss that, but a foreign media organization does not dictate for us in Nigeria. No, the, the, the issue is what I'm talking said, about. Means nothing to the us. issues that we're talking about yes. is the fact that uh, we cannot treat our own president in our country. We cannot take care of our own president, uh, the, perhaps the biggest nation in black Africa. We cannot take care of our own country. Is he, is he worried about such a thing? No, no. We didn't discuss that, but what I'd like to say is that the fact that that foreign medium said it means absolutely nothing. But is, is, is it true? Is, it, uh, is, is, is the is president that worried that, I mean, it cannot be treated? And, no, I, I told you we didn't discuss it. No, but is it worried? You speak for no, him. No, no, the fact that he's in London and he's been uh, taking treatment there for a while shows that he believes that you procure treatment from wherever you can get it. It's a man who is alive that continues to either lead his family, lead his church, lead his mosque, or lead a nation. If he's dead, he's dead. Nobody wish him dead. Yeah. I mean, that's, no, no, a, that's not, what I'm that's not talking leader. about him directly. Uh, okay. Anybody that needs treatment and knows he can get it anywhere in the world, who go for it? We Spain for his treatment. Does it matter at this point? No, no, no. I mean, that's our, uh, that's our president. Don't, we, don't you think yes, we need he, to know? If he's our president, that means he also has access to some things. So that's why we are asking. I mean, some yes. of this is a public officer. Mr. Additional, you, you don't think that he, he doesn't really need anything to be shrouded in secrecy. No. I mean, as soon as he took office, everything about him becomes public. Well, let me say, I do not know who is paying, but as a president, he has a right to be treated by the country. He has a right. But well, it's probably, I mean, Nigeria is paying for his treatment, isn't it? Most likely. I do not know for sure, but most likely. So yes. what is uh, exactly his aim? Now? now that you've seen him, he must have confided in you. No, what he said was what he had said earlier, that he had never been that ill in his life, not even as a young man. But it was obvious, like I said earlier, that he had mended considerably. And that was the first thing we, we said when we saw him. Because when he left... This shows on May 7, we were with him till very late. You know, that was the day he received the new Chibok girls at the State House. We were with him till that night before he left for the airport. I know the way he was. And when I saw him on Saturday, it was a remarkable difference. So that was our first comment, that he was looking tremendously well. But the presidential the Eagle one is still in London, isn't it? Waiting that, for him. It has to be there. It has to be there. And we're still paying for, for, for parking fees. Uh, well, I, I, I don't think that's a problem, is it? We are paying. The Nigerian <laughs> people are paying. Nigerians are paying taxes now. We, we, so. we, we, we should pay if we should pay. But don't forget that an explanation had come earlier that we were not paying the official rate. As much as we should be paying. Yes. That's what we got from yes. the presidency. Yes, yes. And that's still the position. You, when a, the president of a country is somewhere, his, his plane should be there. How much are we paying per day? I do not know. You don't have an idea or you cannot tell us? I do not know. I do not know. Okay. There is the, the, the presidential fleet. It has a commander. If, maybe if you reach out to him, he will tell you. Okay. Um, again, there are a lot of... Uh, over the weekend, the PDP held is a national convention. And uh, there's been a, to a lot of talk about how the PDP is going to displace the APC come 2019. And in the, in the papers uh, this morning, the national chairman of the APC did say that the President Buhari is our best bet in 2019. I guess he's talking about the APC. Does the President, will he run in 2019? Nobody can say for sure that he knows that President Buhari will run because he has not told anybody. In fact, I've been with him a couple of times when some people had come and they had urged him to run. When he responded to those people, he didn't say anything emphatic about running or not running. It would be his right to run if he wants to. And knowing the president as a straightforward person, if he will run, he will come out to tell Nigerians, yes, I'm going to run. But as it stands now, the PDP seems more confident than ever that they're coming back to power in 2019. Are you bothered? Is he bothered? 
Not at all. When the PDP was at its strength, they were defeated. They were given a bloody nose at the polls. Not a talk of when they are holding the shorter end of the stick. So it should not bother anybody. Are you worried that perhaps the APC and the presidency perhaps are having some of the lowest rating ever since they took office in 2015? Ratings change. It can be low today and tomorrow it can go up. So it's, it's not something to worry anybody. But all I know is that this government is on course. And before the mandate terminates in 2019, the rating will be very high. For the APC? Yes. I mean, for a lot of Nigerians who are watching now, and I'm very certain that you have some disappointment in your heart because of your expectations that are not met right now, even working with President Muhammad Buhari. Do you think that uh, things have really gone bad? No, I think things, things had gone very bad before the administration came. So the repair process is naturally a, a painstaking one. That it was a rot that was accumulated over 60 years. The repair will not come in two years, mm -hmm. but the repair will surely come, and it will come in the lifetime of this administration. Mr. Femi Adishin, a special advisor on media and publicity to President Muhammadu Buhari, uh, has been talking to us. Many thanks for your thoughts there. We do hope to find you and perhaps even get to see the president <laughs> at some point when he returns in the country, hopefully before the 100 day mark. Many thanks for coming on the Thank program. You. Always a pleasure having you. Thank and many you. thanks for being part of the show tonight as we reach you from the nation's capital, Abuja. On behalf of the team right here, I'm Shion Wakimbalue. Bye for now.